Hello, welcome to Granny Horse Train. It's September 1st, and I've got Lacey here. We've been working a little bit on putting the crupper on. We already had one session where we were touching the tail and putting the crupper on, getting her used to the feel. Now I got my sure single set up with something to attach the crupper to and leave it on her. I don't have the long lines on because I'll lead her around wearing the crupper first. Yes, you're a good girl. So we're going to tail. Tell her what we're doing. And yesterday she got her tail washed and everything. Make sure everything's clean. Tail. I'm going to have her get used to the feel here and get it up under. Got to make sure we don't have any hairs. Tail, you're doing good. And we'll do a few more putting it on and taking it off. And here, let me turn her around so you can see what we're doing. Let's turn around, baby. You gonna turn around? Whoa. Whoa, hey, whoa. Whoa, back. There you go. Now just stand there. Okay. All right, good girl. Tail. It's one of these kind of cruppers you got to pull the tail through. It doesn't have the buckle on one side, so that makes it tail. She's getting awful strong with the tail. Relax. Good girl. Tail. There, yeah, that's the first time I've left it on like that. Good girl. Undo it. Good girl. Doing so good. So good. I was really wondering if she was going to accept this very well because she's been really tight with her tail. To Even when you clean her and stuff, it's she doesn't want you up in there. Tail. Good. And it's really, it takes a minute to get the hairs through tail. No, 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 no. You're okay. You're okay. I gave her a click out of reassurance that wasn't really the best thing. And she's not in her normal ground tie position that I usually have her in. Hind quarters over. There you go. So back a step. Just straighten yourself out. There you go. No. There. That's a good girl. That's my good girl. Okay. So let's try again. Tail. <clears throat> I tell you, I am very careful with this because I did get lackadaisical with Sugar Babe thinking she was an old horse and had been taught how to do this. And she hadn't. And I scared her. And tail. super tight but here we go there we go now we're attached and you don't have it super tight they'll learn to kind of carry it under their tail just like they would uh, pack a bit in their mouth they learn to carry it under their tail so let's walk around a little bit and see how that feels good girl get her down to one of those mats. Now, no. I said, whoa. There we go. I want you to go over this way. That one. She's getting a little bit ear 
irritated back there. A little bit saying I don't like it. And now you go over there. I'm just going to make it easy for her because she's got enough for the stimulation of having the crupper on. around here and let's go to that one good girl good girl good girly let's go up here good girl and wool Go to that mat. Come on, go ahead of me. Now I might, I might adjust that a little tighter. I might adjust that a little tighter. Let's go straight down through the middle. Okay, so that's like her first introduction of wearing the crupper, and I might adjust it up just a little bit higher. Good girl. I'm going to kind of bring her up here where you can see where she's got it at now. Whoa. Good girl. And we'll see if we can. Tail. Yeah, I don't think I need to tail it tighter. I'm hesitant to make it tighter on her. Just, I'm also hesitant to work her too much with it right now because it is a little annoying. So we'll just let her be a little annoyed for a little while and then take it off. That way she knows it's like, that we understand. We understand there is some, you know, feeling that it isn't the most comfortable thing in the world right off the bat. So she'll soon get used to it. But I would like to do some ground driving today, too. Let's turn you around, baby. Thanks for watching. And this is really part two of introducing the Crupper. Watch the other video where she just started out getting her desensitized to. And I also did a lot of desensitizing just to her lifting her tail and me handling her tail more and doing all that. So I was very successful. There really wasn't much. Uh, no fireworks there. And that's the point. Do things slow. Graduated. Um, progressive lessons so that you don't have any fireworks happen with your horses and getting hurt. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and traumatizing them. Having them get into fireworks situations is them getting all excited. That's traumatizing to them. So thanks for watching. Bye now.